Okay, guys, um, Twitter went meltdown today, social media today. Um, definitely Twitter, anyway, with David Ornstein's revelation from the Athletic, of course, that Liverpool are no longer in the driving seat beside Jude Bellingham from Dortmund. Look, I take all these things with pinches of salt. I mean, just, we've been interested in Jude ever since he went to Dortmund. It's really hotted up in the last 18 months. Klopp, we know, is interested. We know Liverpool as a club are very, very interested in signing him. It's going to cost a pretty, pretty penny. It's going to be 120, 130 million at least, I would say, to prize him away from Dortmund. He wants to come back to England. I think he wants to play for Klopp. The question is, will he go or will FSG give Klopp and Liverpool the money to sign this player? It's going to be a big, big transfer. Not only the sign-on fee, the wages, the bonus, four or five years, maybe even six years. I don't know what the transfer the actual thing will be. But look, the way I think of it is, there's two things here. Liverpool want him, Liverpool need him in that midfield. We need him. It'd be a big boost for the club, a big, big boost for the whole team. It really would. It'd give us energy. It would really give us so much in that midfield. But we need more than him. We need a, maybe a Mount, maybe even a Nunes as well. We need at least three midfielders, a right back and probably a centre half. Never mind just Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham isn't going to cause, you know gonna solve all our problems there's absolutely no way i still think it could take two or three windows to solve all our problems but this summer is big and we've been pointing to it and thinking about it for a, for a few months now and this is a huge summer for liverpool as a club you've got to invest to protect so it's no use worrying about getting champions league or not you know whether we get champions league or not we still got to invest to protect it's as simple as or as we fall further behind so the question is will he come to liverpool will he want to join klopp on this rebuild project you know he looks at the club trent and henderson are great friends of his as we know we're always seeing pictures of the two of them trent was with him at the weekend a chris brown concert in london so they're very close Will that help? I'm sure it will. It'll certainly help more than hinder. Question is, does he want to come to Liverpool? As I say, the rebuild has to start this summer. Will he like that project to get Liverpool back at the top table? Maybe without Champions League football. It's looking unlikely. It's not impossible, but it's looking unlikely that we get Champions League football. Or does he want to go to the likes of Real Madrid? Does he want to go to Man City, a ready-made team with all the money and the riches? Even the United, if the Qataris come in for them in the summer, I'm sure we'll be in there or thereabouts with the money. So whoever can stomp up the 120, 130, then it's up to him his parents basically look after him um, Mark Bellingham and like he has, a, he has an advisor but it's not really an agent I don't think but we know he wants to come back to England so I think I think it really is between Liverpool and City that's who I think it's between now we know City have a lot of money they have endless deep pockets but I think the fact of Klopp the fact with Trent and Henderson the fact of Liverpool, the rebuild, get them back, you know. We need him, we need a midfielder. We, we were crying out for it. I think that could appeal to him. It's whether the big, big question for me is if FSG can stomp up the money. If they can stomp up the 120 and give them a good wage, I think we can get him. I think that's the, that's the key. That is the key. And Dave Ornstein writing about it today hasn't really changed my mind on it. I mean, I've seen a lot of articles in the last few months, as I said. But I'm hoping Liverpool do get him. It would be a big statement for the club. A big statement for the player as well. Rather than go to a ready-made team, coming to a team that are struggling, you know, and trying to get them back to the top table. I think that would be a lot more... That'd be a better. I think it'd be a lot better for him as well. Because, um, as I say, he'd be an absolute hero at Liverpool. And if you want to be a hero like Stevie G and stuff like that, you want to be a hero, you want to be a hero at Liverpool. The fan base, worldwide fan base. And just history, the club, basically. So, I still think there's a good chance we will sign him. But the, just the big question mark for me is, will FSG stomp up the cash? That's the big one. Let's see. Let's hope. Let's pray. Um, we have two weeks now of absolutely nothing bit of internationals and stuff like that but i do miss liverpool playing football we need to get back in and back in and try our best the last few league games to try get that top four spot we three tough games coming back city away chelsea away then arsenal home three tough games i think we'd be up for them diaz and tiago well diaz anyway should be back in the squad which is a huge bonus but let's see guys big big months coming up for this club let's hope we can have a good window and hopefully bellingham is part of it stay safe cheers